name is Justin Fan, Vibraphonist from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm currently living in Los Angeles. So what got you into the vibes? I got introduced to the Vibraphone at the age of eight by my teacher at the time, Wendell Harrison, back in uh, my elementary school in Baltimore. And uh, I'd already learned piano, so when I transitioned to Vibraphone, it was an easy transition. The only thing was just different technique. And since then, I've been playing it uh, now for 20 years. But my biggest influence musically is Quincy Jones uh, because he does a wide range of music, uh, starting from jazz and to other genres. Uh, in terms of vibraphone, uh, my influences are Lionel Hampton, Bobby Hutcherson, Milt Jackson, Roy Ayers, Joe Locke, and many others. Are you more comfortable in a suit or in jeans and t-shirt? Uh, I'm comfortable if it feels right. <laughs> uh, you know, I could do the jeans, the t-shirt, I could do the, the suit, the tie, you know, as long as it's the right cut and everything, I'm good. Who would you say is your like, style influence? Uh, my style influence in this part of my career, I would say it'd be Roy Ayers. Uh, before, it used to be Milt Jackson, which was more bebop. Uh, Roy Ayers is, I believe, is ahead of his time, has more of an R&B uh, funk sound, and so, his influence is what I'm trying to do, uh, or his style is what I'm trying to do for this type of uh, genre that's taking place today, which is pop music. three records would you take with you if you were stuck on an island? It's definitely got to be Bob Marley. Uh, I probably would take a Marvin Gaye's Vulnerable. And maybe the third one would be a... Uh, I have to think on the third one. But them two right there is enough of what I need. Uh, and what's your favorite city in the States and then your favorite either country or place to visit? So right now my favorite city is LA, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that because I live here, uh, but I have traveled a lot in the United States. Uh, Austin is a good city, Austin, Texas, I really like that too. Um, overseas, I have to say I really love Portugal, uh, it left an impression on me when I went there. And uh, I really like, uh, you know, Amsterdam was cool, you know, I thought it was cool. Uh, but I also have to say that I really like Berlin, Germany. It was it was really nice, uh, really cool. Um, yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed myself also in uh, London. And uh, Copenhagen is really nice, too. So this is kind of a two-part question. Okay. When, you, when you show up to a scene or to a gig and people see you for the first time, what do you want them to think? And then what do you want them to know by the time you end the gig? Like your first uh, what I want them to know when I'm there is I mean business. Let's play music. Let's have a good time. You know, I wanted to be relaxed. I don't want no pressure. Um, but as long as we know that we're here to play music. And then when we're done, I want it to be something that everyone feels refreshed. You know, everyone feels like, man, you know, like, you know, I want to, you know, I'm glad to have that, that experience. You know, so that's, I'm all about just you know, wanting a person, the band, the audience to feel good, to feel comfortable. Um, a lot of times musicians don't get a chance to play the music that they want. And so I do have the opportunity to play music with great musicians and music that I, you know, that I enjoy playing that I want to play with. And so, um, that I want to play. And so, um, I want that same thing for the people in the band and the people in the audience. That's like, man, I want to hear this. Describe your ideal woman. My ideal woman? Well, yeah. she gotta be chilling. Right. That's the first thing. Second of all, she gotta be chilling. <laughs> the third thing, she gotta be chilling. <laughs> so as long as she chilling and we understand each other, that's all that matters, you know. She look good, she got style, she got class, you know, she has, uh, you know, intelligence and she's, uh, has some, you know, good head on her shoulders. Cool with that woman of God. That's important. So gonna give me two quick things on your bucket list. On my bucket list. I gotta go to South America. I've been to the Caribbean, but I haven't been to South America. So that's one, and I gotta go to Asia. I kinda been there through Turkey, but like, 
I want the real, like I want the Tokyo, I want the, you know, I want all that. So, um, and I want to try the ramen there. Here it's amazing. So, those are the two things I want to do travel wise. Are you a loafers guy or are you a lace up guy? I'm lazy, so I like loafers, you know. But I, you know, I, I tie some shoes every now and then if I ain't got to do too much work. But I like loafers. What would be like your favorite outfit? Uh, my favorite outfit, honestly, is uh, I'd say a nice three piece suit that fit right. You know, uh, let it be color purple. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we in there. singer huh it might be Marvin Gaye right now just because I was listening to his vulnerable album and it's more of a, a Marvin Gaye album that you wouldn't expect to hear it's a jazz album with a jazz orchestra and uh, he sings it like himself he doesn't sing like a jazz singer and I think having that type of discipline and knowing hey this is how I'm going to sing it does it does a Huge, it has a huge impression on me. So, right now, I think it's Marvin Gaye.